All right, as I talk to real estate investors from all over the country, one of the common questions they have is, how do I know where to invest? How do I know what a good market is? What are some of the defining factors for me to understand where I should be flipping, where I should buy cash flow properties? Should I just stay away from the market? And um, it, it is an interesting question because there are some markets that are great for flipping, but not great for cash flow and other markets that are fantastic for cash flow and not so good for flipping. So first of all, one of the, the, the there's, there's four kind of characteristics that I want to talk about that I use in identifying a, a real estate market and I'll just kind of break each one down briefly. One of the first factors that, that you want to address is whether the market is a linear market or a nonlinear. And by that, that simply means if you think about California, if you think about Florida, if you think about Arizona, those are nonlinear markets. Why? Because they go up and down and up and down in value. Okay? Properties that I purchased in California back in 1998 for 100000 by 2006 we're selling for 375 And now in 2012 are selling for 120 k Again, well, I guess that would actually be a little. <laughs> but you see my point. Up and down, up and down. That's a nonlinear market. Now, nonlinear markets can be fantastic for flipping. Uh, one of the uh, really popular nonlinear markets right now is Las Vegas. Um, in Las Vegas, you can buy homes for much less than what the cost of construction even was. Homes, for example, that sold for three hundred fifty thousand in two thousand and six in Vegas, you can buy at foreclosure auction now for sixty or seventy thousand. And think about what that potentially could mean, because let's say you could buy that home for 60 k in 2012 and hold it until the Las Vegas market comes back, so let's say 2020, that, that home may very well be worth 350000 again, with you doing nothing other than holding it. Perfect nonlinear market. Now, if you think of the Midwest, if you think of... Uh, some of the Sun Belt, you'll see more linear markets, and that's just the opposite of a nonlinear market. It's a market that every year just kind of goes up one to three percent. Okay. Um, one of the things that was interesting, one of the reasons why I came to Indianapolis in the first place, was because I realized that California was at the top of a nonlinear market, and I wanted to take the profits that I had made from flipping homes and put it into a linear market, and that's exactly what I what I did. Starting in about 2004, I started taking those profits and applying them into this market. Linear markets tend to be excellent for cash flow properties. And so that's the first kind of way that you want to decide is, you want to ask yourself what type of market is it. One of the second things that we look at is, um, it's called the 1% rule, it's also called the gross rent multiplier. And all that is is a correlation between the monthly rent and the purchase price of the property. <clears throat> properties that have a 1% or higher ratio are better cash flow deals than ones that have less tend to be not so good. So for example, to get $1,000 a month in rent in California, you may have to spend right now $175,000. To get a thousand dollars a month month rent in, for example, Indianapolis, you can do that in some areas for as little as seventy seventy thousand dollars. So if you look at this ratio of monthly rent to purchase price, a thousand as it correlates to one hundred and seventy five thousand, you're less than one percent. Whereas a thousand as it correlates to seventy thousand, you're almost up to two percent. It's almost double. So, markets that have a higher gross rent multiplier tend to be better for cash flow. Markets that have a lower than one percent rule are either overvalued or nonlinear, better for flipping. Okay. One of the, the third criteria is unemployment, and not just what the unemployment rate is, but really looking at. So, for example, one of the things that we track in Indianapolis is white collar unemployment which right now is only floating around 3%. That's a good indicator of the kind of jobs that people have. Um, so you, not, you, you don't just want to look at 
unemployment for a region, you want to look at <clears throat> the breakdown by, by job sector. So manufacturing unemployment, um, blue collar unemployment, white collar unemployment, and then also look at unemployment based on age brackets. So for example, in some markets we see unemployment between 18 to 25 year olds, that's almost 20%. Um, and, and that may not be as concerning uh, depending on what, what segment of the rental market you're looking to target. So unemployment is another key factor in figuring out what market you should be investing in. And the third thing, and the fourth thing that we look at a lot is population growth. What has the market been doing over the past 5, 10, 15 years? So for example, in Indianapolis, over the last 10 years, there's been close to 15% population growth. People tend to be, are, are, are coming to this market and, and uh, it's retaining the people that are born and raised here and it's also having people move here. Compare that to a market like a Detroit where um, they're actually having a population decline. They're not even keeping the number of people being born, people are actually fleeing the market and moving to different cities. So when you have um, a mentor, when you're working with someone who can help guide you and navigate these things, it really and quickly can become obvious about not only should I be in this market, but what I should be doing in that market. And as you evaluate these criteria, you can really come up with some conclusions about not only whether you should even mess with the market, but if you do, what kind of investing are you going to do? Are you going to flip? Are you going to buy cash flow? Um, or should you just completely be looking for another market based on your uh, specific circumstances?